What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. I have a couple of very rugged external SSD and MV, NVMe drives here. Um, if you're looking for external drives that write fairly fast and are really, really rugged with prices that are very, very competitive, look no further than these titanium micro drives. They're both 500 gigs, but if you want bigger or smaller drives, they both come in different sizes. So just click the links and you'll see that. This one, the, the Titanium One, uh, goes for about 80 bucks. This one goes for about 95 bucks. The difference is speed, and we'll go through the speeds and show them off in real time, but ultimately pretty crazy, uh, you know, uh, ruggedness overall, and uh, like I said, decent speed. So let's open them up both and uh, see what comes inside the box. All right, so here's the unboxing for both. You're gonna see, you're gonna get a bag, little carrying bag for both drives. Registration cards for both. On the other side of this is like a little code and you can go on their website and register your drive for the warranty. And you get with both a USB-C to USB adapter. So if you have, uh, you know, if your computer or wherever you're plugging it in has only USB on a regular USB side uh, on there, you can plug these in and get usage out of the drives. And again, that's cool that I think it include that little adapter with the box. And then here is the titanium ones, this is the slightly cheaper one, 80 bucks. Also uh, read writes at a slightly slower speed as well. And it's obviously pretty big. And then you get the Mercury, very much smaller, you can see. But both of them overall are pretty portable. This is definitely pocket sizable. Put this in your pocket, you'd be good to go. This one, you could probably fit it in your pocket. If you wear skinny jeans, if you're one of those kind of people, uh, then you probably have a little bit tough Tough time fitting this in, but maybe in your back pocket. The cool thing about both of these is that there's a USB-C cable built directly into this. So, you know, talk about, you know, taking these things on the go. They are all ready to go. You don't have to worry about, you know, uh, bringing a USB cable. If you have a USB-C port, then you're good to go. You can get these things lined up, put it, plug them into your gaming systems as backup drives or plug them into your computers or you know, whatever, just as any kind of backup storage, they're gonna be great for that. And then also, just based off of the, the, how rugged and durable they are, they have rubber bumpers, they have military 810 standard, IP66 dust and water resistance, shock, dust, like I said, water resistance. So like these are mega heavy duty. So if you bring these out in the field in terms of like maybe you're gonna, whatever, just be in a, a rainy situation, a, a watery situation, you drop them, you should be pretty good with that. So what I'm gonna do next is plug these into my Mac Mini and show off the real world speeds that you'll get with each of these. All right, so we're gonna check out the Titanium One first. So I'm gonna open up my Blackmagic disc speed test. Just pull it over here and we're gonna do a little speed test. I already did it obviously as you could see, but ultimately, and it's gonna slow down a little bit because I am using the computer, but you saw the speeds just a second ago. They were in the 400s on the right and on the read, uh, you can see about 445, which is basically what they said it would be. And when you look at this little chart here, you can see that ultimately, if you're using this as a you know, video, video editing machine, uh, disc drive, you can definitely record uh, 4K 30 pretty much across the board, except when you start adding 10 bit, it's gonna have some trouble there. But uh, even up to 4K 60, if it's at ProRes 422 on the DaVinci Resolve video editing software. So, you know, it'll pretty much get the job done. And this is a 500 gig drive for 80 bucks. If you go less, space or even more uh, the prices obviously will change so uh, just in terms of performance alone it's actually not that bad and it's, the price is, is right and it's rugged so you know it might be we'll see if it's going to be the best bang for your buck overall in terms of what you want to do if you're a content creator or if you're just looking for some kind of backup drive or a drive to transfer files back and forth from and then real quickly just going to copy about 30 gigs of files just to see how long that would take on this Mac mini so you can see 30 gigs of files is going to take approximately a minute or so and it looks like it's going at a fairly decent rate overall and we'll see if it kind of gets in that mark of about a minute and there you guys go it did take about a minute maybe a little bit less but it definitely was uh, fast enough to not annoy you if you're transferring over a bunch of files 
And then lastly, just checking out the Mercury, which is the faster, slightly more expensive drive. You can see the speeds are a little bit better. The right speeds are getting about 637 here on the right. And the right's always going to be slower than the read. And the read, uh, they say you can get up to 1,000. I'm obviously not getting that. I'm getting about 748, 750, somewhere in that, which again, still is faster. Um, so this is obviously going to be really great for probably a few more things in terms of the performance of it. So we'll just stop it right here for a second. But when we look at this little chart here, we can see that the 2160P, it can do almost every single uh, file size in the 4K range uh, of all these little tests from ProRes to Cinema. Um, it has a little bit of issue with the 10 bit at 4K 60, but it can do it at 4K 30. So if this is your, you know, again, this is going to be your main drive for 15 bucks more. Why wouldn't you want more speed? It's going to be as a backup drive or a content creating drive where you're going to edit video off of, or if you're just going to copy files back and forth and it's smaller at the same time, I'd probably choose uh, the Mercury. And then just going over to the drive again, I'm going to paste in those same 32 gigs of files over here. And this one says less than a minute. And seemingly just, you know, and as it should, it's seemingly moving faster, a little bit more smoother uh, than uh, this one, the, 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 the one, the titanium one drive. Uh, so, I mean, if speed truly is important to you and size obviously is important sometimes to people, you're going to want to definitely get the Mercury. And I, I think at 15 bucks, I think it's probably uh, the better drive overall anyway. All right, so let's kind of break it down. You kind of see where I'm going with these drives. They are both, no, I mean, they're not the fastest drives I've personally dealt with, but they get the job done. And the price is really, really good. You know, you know, 80 bucks for a 500 gig at, you know, SSD drive that is external. And then you get the NVMe drive uh, that is 15 bucks more for basically double the, well, theoretic double the speeds, but probably more in that 25 to 30% faster range i would personally go with the mercury it's smaller they're both really really light drives overall they're both extremely rugged basically the same ruggedness for both of these drives but i think this the mercury one would be the better one to get due to the size the speed and uh, overall the portableness of it being able to be so small so if you want to pick either one of these up i don't think you'll be too unhappy with either one of them but uh you know, you can kind of see what the speeds and what they can do overall are. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys down the road.